Hello and welcome to Money, 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 your weekly personal finance date with me, Sirubhi Upadhyay. Money, investment, wealth, these are all important facets of personal finance, but they become perhaps meaningless without one fundamental pillar, that's your health, and a strategy to mitigate any financial strain that may arise in case of a health emergency. So this week's episode is all about helping you, our viewers, identify your exact health insurance needs and finding a plan that fits your profile. My guests on the show today are Dhruv Sareen, who is Head of Health Insurance at Policy Bazaar, and Sanjeev Bajaj, Vice Chairman at Bajaj Capital. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining in. Both of you are joining in from the National Capital Region, so I don't have you here with me in the Mumbai studios. But uh, Sanjeev, I'll start with you. Uh, the first fundamental question that crosses all our minds is, I do need health insurance, but how much is enough? Your thoughts? See, health insurance is the health is your most important part of your wealth and if you look at any financial crisis in a family that you come across mostly it is driven by health so point is that you need to have health insurance as per your lifestyle because you need to give yourself the best treatment so you have to look at what is your lifestyle and even if you were to get a uh, ailment what is the amount of money that you're willing to spend of yourself so whether if you think look I'm, I'm a kind of person who needs to get an individual room and if I get an ailment I'll end up spending 20-30 lakhs so then you need to start with a 30 lakh rupee uh, type of a cover and today the rate of the covers have come down so it is available at a very reasonable price Sanjeev, you know, there's so much out there in the market and so many choices it does leave, you know, people somewhat confused should I get a rider with my life insurance policy? should I buy a standalone cover? should I buy a disease specific cover? How does one negotiate this? See, it's not that difficult. And see, they are typically, we call it, there are five uh, typical uh, things that you have to keep in mind. And if you cover all these five, then you're covering 95% of what is available out there. So number one is your base mediclaim, which covers your hospitalization. The second product you buy is called a super top-up. So this is when you can buy a 5 to 10 lakh rupee top up. So that means your 5 lakh rupee policy can become a 15 to 20 lakh rupees or you can even take it up to a 1 crore rupees if you go for a video con supra type of a product at a very minimal cost. Hmm. That's the second product you look at. The third product you look at is a broad range critical illness cover. And here for me, critical illness cover, either you buy as a top up to your health insurance or a life insurance, or you buy a standalone product. Okay. Now the fo fourth cover after that is called what is called deductibles. Hmm. This is basically health savings plan so that you, are, you can save tax up to 25,000 rupees by, but you may not need to pay that much premium. Sure. And fifth, is, is disease specific critical illness mm. which is cancer care or heart care which is available which will cover the early stage also mm. that is if you have a family history mm. of diabetes, cancer, heart ailments then you must look at okay. buying these so that even if there is an early stage something happens mm -hmm. then you will get a lump sum payment so if you cover these five things then you are covering almost 95% of what you need and what is available in the market Okay, well, uh, that's uh, five different layers of health insurance explained. Let's actually break this down in terms of a, a couple of baskets. Different, let's say, age categories because age will define your needs, age will define uh, your sort of levels of fitness perhaps and health as well. So if we start off, uh, Dhruv, with the first category of individuals, let's say people who have just started working between 25 up to around 35, uh, 30 or 35, where the awareness has come in, but there aren't too many liabilities or responsibility. So typically you might be buying a cover only for yourself. Then what kind of premiums are we talking about? See, uh, the, the age group of 25 to 30 are, are young people, are adventurous people, typically not living at home, you know, uh, uh, renting up an apartment, staying, staying in metros. The kind of cover that they, or the kind of features that they typically look at are uh, something which will give them, you know, an accident coverage or something that will give them cover for the, you know, for, for diseases like dengue and typhoid because they are more prone to these, these diseases. So the kind of features that they typically look at is what's the, uh, you know, what's the network near their house, what's the room rent, room rent capping in the products that they are looking at, uh, you know, um, is, there, is there an ambulance cover and what is the level of ambulance cover that's there in the plan. So those are the kind of features that typically people in this category look at who are individuals do not have much liabilities. The premiums if I talk about you know for a 25-30 year old for a 5 lakh cover would not be more than 5,000. 
Okay, so Sanjeev, come in on this. If you're willing to spend around six, seven thousand rupees uh, a year, uh, how much of a cover can you expect? And also some of the, you know, uh, points that Dhruv mentioned. For instance, if you should you be taking at, at this age, should you be taking an additional accident cover? And then how do these policies work? So here, accidental, you are not looking at the death part of the accidental, but you are looking at the disability part of the accidental. That is very important. Also, it is very important to buy a good health insurance cover when you are young, because you are easily able to get a very good cover at a very reasonable price without any loadings, and also the fact that you have not developed any ailments, so that you get a much better coverage, and after four to five years, most of the health insurance claims are never rejected, because pre existing also gets covered. So it's better at a younger age to better buy a better cover. So if you were to ask me, I'll say buy a minimum 5 lakh rupee health insurance cover and buy a top up on that. So you can get a 20 lakh rupee type of a coverage for between 5 to 7 thousand as you have asked. And in addition, if you have, uh, if you feel that you are you're traveling by motorcycle, then as Dhruv has said, it is very important to have accident. But accident cover here means disability cover. Okay, so Sanjeev, to explore this point forward, how much will this add-on disability cover cost me? And also, if you could give some examples, both in terms of a basic MediClaim, uh, you mentioned the super top-up uh, sort of plans as well, some policies which you think are quite fair for the kind of money they charge. See, for me, the most important when it comes to choosing a health insurance is not the kind of rate they are charging today, but what is the stability of the rate that they have maintained. So you have to, one, choose an insurer which is a main, majorly a health insurance player and has been able to maintain, sustain its prices. So in that sense, I, I am very fond on this category at this age. I am very fond of the Cigna TTK. So they have a product called Pro Health Protect and pro, pro health plus so if you look at this product they have not had a rate increase for the last three to four years in fact they have a rate reduction it's a it's got very good coverages it's a very new product another product i like is max bupa heartbeat if you want to buy a higher sum assured then that's a product with a very good rate so that that's a good that's a good product available so these two would be probably my favorite products and then also it is very important to look at this product called super top up what happens if you buy a 20 lakh rupee health insurance that will be much more expensive so you buy a 5 lakh rupee health insurance and a 15 lakh rupee top up plan top up plan means that it only covers you from 5 lakh to 20 lakh rupees so the premium is much more cheaper so suppose 20 lakh rupee health insurance costs you 15000 if you break it into a 5 lakh plus 15 lakh it will cost you in the range of between about 5 5 and a half thousand rupees for the 5 lakh cover uh, and uh, another 1500 to 2000 rupees for the additional cover so al almost at half the price you are able to get the same amount of coverage mm. so this is what i would typically look at at this age Okay, fair enough Sanjeev and also your pick as far as uh, the accident cover is concerned, accident with respect to disability, not death here. The accidental cover, again Cigna TTK has a very good product, ICSA Lombard has a very good accident come disability cover. So please look at these two options, so they are both very very good in doing what they, what they need to do. Okay, and Dhruv, I'll put the same question to you. Uh, some examples that our viewers can pick and choose from with respect to single individuals who are looking for basic MediClaim as well as a disability cover. I think on the basic MediClaim, apart from, uh, you know, uh, the, the plans that uh, Sanjeev has mentioned, I think a, a new plan in the market, which is by uh, Aditya Birla, I think that's also a very good plan. Basically, we're buying health insurance not, not so much for today, but also for a future. What uh, Aditya Birla uh, plan gives you is that in case in case you get any of the chronic diseases like a diabetes, hypertension, asthma uh, or cholesterol, they will move you to their chronic management program which is their USP without charging any extra premium. I think that's also a very good cover for a young individual to buy today. On the disability side, uh, I think, uh, you know, the, the, uh, other than the ones mentioned, uh, I think even an HDSC or Go, uh, even a Relier, I think these are, these are good brands. Uh, that you can buy for a disability cover. Okay, we've only just gotten started health insurance and there's so much detail that you must keep in mind. On the other side, we'll talk more about a couple of these lifestyle diseases that unfortunately one does hear of. We do start uh, talking about them as age progresses. So what sort of health insurance can mitigate some of these conditions, at least the financial strain caused by them? We'll discuss that after the break.
Welcome back here with Money, Money, Money. And this is a topic that you really need to know everything about. Health insurance, do you have the right cover or not? Have you taken certain add-ons? Uh, do you have everything that you require to ensure that any financial conditions arising out of a health emergency don't rob you of your wealth and peace of mind? We have some queries that have been coming in as well. So uh, let me quickly take this up, gentlemen. Now, this is a question from uh, Ashwin on Twitter. He says, I have a health insurance for myself. Can I include my wife and child in that policy by increasing the sum assured? Sanjeev, uh, does it work that simply or does he have to go in for a new floater policy? Uh, no, you can convert. Most of the companies do offer this uh, option of converting your existing policy into a floater policy and covering your uh, wife and children because you know companies do understand that a person when he buys a product may be unmarried and then he gets married and he wants to include his wife and in future he wants to include his children so most of the plans do give that option and that's a better way of doing it fair enough Dhruv that brings me to the wider question on uh, how you should go about buying a family floater policy because I guess typically around the age of 35 onwards when an individual is married and is thinking of family that's when you're thinking of a family floater plan yes yes so uh, typically we, uh, we we segregate or the, the solutions that we provide to customers is that you know if you are if you're recently married and you're looking for a maternity plan there are plans there are specific maternity plans out there like a like a religious joy which gives you a maternity cover after nine months and then there are plans like max Rupa heartbeat which gives you a maternity cover after two years in case uh, you know you are looking for maternity specific plans you can buy these plans there are other plans also out, uh, in the market out there which will have a waiting period from anywhere from two years to four, year, few, four years some of them may not cover maternity but depending on your needs of whether you want a maternity covered or not covered you can choose these plans what is the kind of cost we are talking about see something like a relegate joy which gives you a cover after nine months there and it's a it's, it's a three-year policy the premiums are on the higher side it would typically cost you roughly about 55 to 60 uh, but that's a three-year premium so if you break it down yearly that's a roughly about 20 22 a year uh, but the but the benefits that you get uh, which basically is maternity and there are other value-added services uh, for example uh, if you want to go for a stem, uh, if you want to go for a stem cell uh, stem cell treatment uh, that also is covered as part of this and you'll get some discounts and there are other discounts and OPD discounts that are there as part of the value-added services so the mm -hmm. cost may look higher but the benefits are much more than the cost that they are they charge okay uh, Sanjeev let's bring you in as well what do you advise people who uh, have recently gotten married and then moving up to the age of let's say 40 45 uh, and obviously want to protect the entire family which are the plans do you would you stick with the uh, uh, Cigna TTK are there additional names that come to mind for a family floater so I think Dhruv has covered a lot of good names. Uh, so point is that this is the most important age for you to buy your health insurance. And also this is the time for you to buy your critical illness cover. Because this is a time where you have not developed a critical illness. And if you look at most of the life insurance plans, like for me my favorite is ICICA Prudential Smart, uh, uh, I Protect Smart which is a very good critical illness plan which gives you almost a 1 crore critical illness at only a 28,000 rupee a flat rate for the next 30 year type of a coverage. Now before 40 the plan, the rates of critical illness covers are very very low and once you buy that product if you buy it from a, a life insurer then your rates are covered or their rates are, are remain flat for the rest of the term. If you buy a product like Aditya Billa that uh, Dhruv was mentioning, that product has a very, very uh, strong wellness benefit built in. So what it does is that it helps you maintain your health. So if you are walking for 13 days or 14 days, you are working out in a month, you almost get 30% discount on your premium. <laughs> so their aim today is to keep you well. So that sure. you shouldn't develop a lifestyle illness and so Sanjeev, you have to do it Sa before 40. Sanjeev, let me come in on this because this is something very interesting. Uh, you know, this new product, uh, this innovation that you spoke of, health management. Uh, so how does it work? How do I get the benefit? I mean, I have to go and prove to the insurance company that I've gone to the gym or I've done some physical exercise for a certain number of uh, days in a month. How does it, how does it go? 
Yeah, yeah. So what happens is that these uh, these products have a health management. It's a platform that is built up. So you get a website where you can go and look at nutrition. It talks about your blood parameters. You get a free health checkup every year. It will tell you how your health is going. And then they have tie-ups with gyms where you get substantial discounts. And when you go to the gym, you just log into the gym. So they are able to track that how much time you spent in the gym. So it's very interesting. It's a lot of gamification. So these are very interesting products and internationally these are the rage. How interesting is that? So going to the gym is not just good for your health, it can be good for your wealth as well as far as that insurance premium goes. We will take a break but on the other side we address a very important age category, the senior citizens. Do they have any options once they touch the age of 60? Can they get health covers? We'll discuss that on the other side. Welcome back here with Money, Money, Money and this week we are discussing health insurance. Everything that you need to know to make sure you have the cover that will work for you in case of a medical emergency. We have an email query that's coming in from Mr. R.C. Molly. He's from Hyderabad. He's 33 years old. He is saying I need a good health insurance plan for my uh, elders, my father who's 66. My mother who is 63, uh, can you suggest a plan which has a normal premium and will cover critical illness, perhaps will also give me a good no claim bonus. Uh, you know gentlemen, this query echoes the sentiment of so many others that we keep getting and a lot of our viewers have been asking what to do for their parents or what to do for senior citizens themselves. So uh, let me start by asking you Dhruv, um, is it possible to get decent health coverage once you touch 60 in this country? See, definitely. There are, uh, if once you touch 60, uh, you can uh, get uh, senior citizen specific covers also. What you need to look at typically is, some of the plans out there may have a copay post you enter the age of 60. That's one thing that you need to look at, for, you know, when somebody is buying for a senior citizen. In case uh, somebody, you know, has, let's say, a high level of HbA1c, or cholesterol is not under control, or BP is not under control, then a specific plan for senior citizens is the Star Health. There, the only uh, the only concern is that there are cappings on uh, on uh, on certain uh, treatments, and there is a copay. Some plans, the copay, let's say, starts at 30% and reduces to 0% post 65. Some will have a standard copay of 10%. Some will have a standard copay of 20%. So again, it depends which plan you're going for. A Star Health will have a copay of 20%. Uh, you know, uh, a Relier will have a copay of again about 20%. A Max starts with a higher copay but reduces with age. So depending on the product that you're buying, the copay will either remain constant or will reduce. Sanjeev, I personally know of cases where a senior citizen has been denied insurance because he or she was slightly above the threshold weight, had BP issues, but then these are very normal issues which typically uh, do arise in people who are above 60. What do you suggest? The point is that you should not be in a situation where you are reached 60 and not have a health insurance. This is a very wrong situation and this will typically happen only if you are depending on your corporate health cover as your main health cover. As you know, so I would like to add, uh, Dhruv has mentioned some very good products. I like, I also like HDFC Suraksha product at this age or Apollo Munich Easy Health product. Uh, which which has uh, you know coverages at this age. So point is that there are products available. It will be more difficult for you to get it. You have to get into more research planning. You can always buy a super top up plans are available where you say okay up to five lakh rupees I will cover and give me a coverage between five lakh to twenty lakhs. So yeah. that may be even be a cheaper option. So you know that look up to a next level I can uh, you know cover it. But if it goes beyond that then I have some coverage available. So give us a sense. Uh, of the cost and the cover if one is looking for a cover for a senior citizen at least basic 5 lakh cover uh, what kind of premium are we talking about copay I think Dhruv mentioned be prepared uh, for at least 30 percent if not more and what are the other sort of you know hidden fine print areas does that policy start from day one will it only kick in after let's say two years See, it does start uh, from day one unless there is something which is already known because insurance only covers uncertainty, it doesn't cover certainty. The cost is going to be substantial. Cost, according to me, for a 5 lakh cover would not be less than 20, 25,000 rupees mm. uh, plus. So this is the kind of budget that you need to have in your mind. Gentlemen, finally coming down to last thoughts, you know, one of the complaints that one always hears is that health insurance is a product that's great to buy as long as you're young, fit and healthy. But once you actually contract something, then the options start getting limited. Is, is that just a notion or is that a, a reality? And 
you know, Dhruv, if you could start first, are there products in the market that we must keep in mind uh, which cover existing ailments and existing cases as well? Yes, there are plans out there now. Uh, with, with this philosophy, what insurance companies have done is they've brought out plans out there that in case you've got, got specific conditions, uh, they will take you in and what they will now do is they will they will work with you to ensure that you improve on those conditions so for example if you've got diabetes the first company to launch a diabetes specific plan was star health followed by apollo munich which has an energy plan and now aditya birla uh, who have a chronic management uh, chronic manage entire chronic management program for diabetic specific patients so uh, you know these uh, these plans of people who would not typically at a normal health insurance will pay extra premium for these plans because they not only cover your hospitalization expenses but also take care of some bit of your OPD expenses, also take care of your health management. Uh, hence these are good plans. Uh, other plans which are there for, uh, for disease specific uh, ailments is a cardiac care which in case you've got uh, undergone a bypass in the last four years then you can buy this plan. Okay, and Sanjeev, uh, final question then with you, pretty much the same question. The tips or the advice that you would give to people with existing conditions on the kind of options they can explore in the health insurance market. Yeah, for me, it's again, I, I would like to just add simply don't lie. And today there are plans available. So point is that if you have um, got something, then you can be sure that they are there. They will be some or other coverage, but you will have to pay a premium for it. The point is that it is a it is a must to have the health insurance, and even if you have a chronic ailment, you can get health insurance today. Okay, point well taken, and perhaps a point that uh, cannot be uh, repeated with more emphasis. It is health insurance, it is your health, and this is something that you do not want to ignore. Thank you so much, Sanjeev, as well as Dhruv, for joining in and giving all of those insights to our viewers. Hopefully, that will be helpful for you. We'll take your leave for this week, but we'll see you again with another theme next week. Of course, your feedback, queries, questions, welcome as always.